started work as a software engineer about 20 years ago. I have worked in the startup companies, telecommunication companies, and the software division of movie studios around LA. The jobs as a software engineer served me well. They allowed me to buy a condo in Beverly Hills, LA. Coming to the United States as a foreign student with just two suitcases, I should say, no bad. After 20 years of being a software engineer, I realized two things. First, you have to keep updating your knowledge all the time. When I started in the 90s, Java is new to everyone. I adopted it quickly because it is sort of like C and C++, but easier. Since then to now, new terminologies, new programming languages, new platforms, keep joining the family. I have learned to use JavaScript, PHP, Python, web service development, and Spring along the way. The second thing I realize is it is inevitable you will change the company you work for. Either you want to leave yourself or you are let go. It is rare to see someone who stay in one company for more than 10 years as software engineer. If he does, he must not be a software engineer. He is a social engineer. Change job means you will have an interview. This happens to me every three to four years. I send a resume, no long, I will receive a call from HR or hiring manager. And the interview is scheduled either late this week or next week. I have less than a week to get ready. Where should I start to prepare? I need to prepare for the behavior questions, go through all the projects I have done. Most of all, I must get ready for the coding interview. I have to admit, coding interview is the most difficult part of the interview for the software engineer position. There are some coding interview questions I never apply at work. How to do merge sort? How to build a binary search tree and the traversal with or without recursion. At work, I call functions or APIs. If I cannot remember, I can search online. But for interviews, I must uh, use algorithms and uh, learn everything by heart. I don't have the luxury as college student or boot camp students who can practice and practice just for the code interview. I don't have that time. I have to get a new job quickly since the bills come every month on time. Meanwhile, I don't want to pick up the textbook of data structure and review how to build a tree from scratch. To save time, I use the interview prep book as a shortcut. From time to time, I find their code is either not working as it is supposed to or too complicated, which sucks more of my time. Those books are written for academy use, not for engineers. Sometimes, I have to rewrite the code to make it work properly. Over the years, I collect a library of code interview questions and answers. This becomes a must-have to prepare for the interview quickly. Then I start to have this idea. Why not write a code interview book just has questions and the best answers for quick review so that we can get ready in a few days. You probably say it is cheating, but hey, if you can solve the same problem with a short time, it is called performance tuning and improvement in computer science. Let me tell a story of myself. I'm an engineer and uh, also a so-called nerd. I don't know how to dress and I want to learn. So I bought a book, How to Get Dressed. It explains scientifically how to dress for your body type, your age, and for different occasions. However, I never finished it. I just don't have time. I bought another small book. The Pocket Stylist. You can guess, I finished this book quickly and refer it quite often. I believe other software engineers are living in a faster pacing life as me. I should write a book serve the same purpose as a Pocket Stylish book. So here it is. The Pocket Java Coding Interview Questions and Answers. I stick to my goal, keep it short, full coverage, and to the point. Please note, this book is not for the computer science college students or coding bootcamp students who are looking for a job. It doesn't teach you the strategy how to prepare for the interview or prepare for the behavior interview questions. There are plenty of other books uh, teaching you that. 
it is not for them to prepare for the school examinations either. In order to keep the book compact, I skip the explanation which they can find in the textbooks. This book is for experienced software engineers who want to refresh their memories and land on their next job quickly. The book is divided into part 1 and part 2. Part 1 are the questions of data structures, such as array, string, linked list, and trees. Part 2 are questions of algorithms, such as binary research, sorting, recursive programming, and dynamic programming. It also has bonus materials, including game, design, and the gray area. Let me take a few minutes to explain what I mean by gray area. If a question needs more than 60 to 80 lines of code, or takes more than 30 minutes to solve, it belongs to this category. These kind of questions shouldn't be in a one hour long interview session, but they do show up from time to time. There are some questions which use multiple data structures. For example, build report to hierarchy, which I teach in my video tutorial before. It uses both tree and hash map. I cannot put it either in tree or hash map, so I leave it here. You will find a lot of interesting questions here in gray area. This book has about 200 questions and answers with the best of all complexity. I personally compiled and tested code to make sure they work and provide the most straightforward solutions. Each question includes interview sources such as Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, LinkedIn. This gives you the idea which companies have asked the question. The related questions are grouped together. I format in a way which make it easy for you to have last glimpse before the interview. Each chapter in part one also has a brief explanation of the data structures, the implementations of the basic operations such as insert, delete, search, and traversal, and important APIs in Java collections. They can be used as flashcards for the interviews and for the workplaces. All questions have a source code. They include the functions in question and the main functions. If the interview questions are similar but require different returns, I list side by side. The main functions give example how to call the functions in question. You can download the source code and give it a try. Okay, that's all I want to say about this book. In short, it is a pocket guide of the coding interview. If you are under pressure to get offer quickly and pay for your mortgage, this is a book for you. I believe it is a work of art. You can download the book at my website www.lavivianpost.com and keep it with you on your journey. Please also send me your questions and feedback. I'm Vivian. Thank you for watching. Remember, I'm part of a team. I want to see your success. Happy coding. I will talk to you soon.